Hi, this is Shady. Today we're going to be discussing Chinese dog boxing. Now, I'm not going to go too much into the history since I am not well educated on the topic. However, when it comes to transitioning to the ground, sweeping and submissions, it is nothing short of fascinating. And I really like it. It's a lot about low stance striking and at the same time really going down underneath someone and reversing them so you can take complete control so it's a lot of like pulling guard in a sense and you know reversing and sweeping but of course you involve uh striking so uh again i'm not going to discuss too much of the history but when it comes to the sweeps and entangling the legs it is very interesting to see and i'll compare it through judo eyes like i always do so as you can see here these uh drills that are being done very low stance you can see the striking being done and the blocking uh, again i'm not an expert on this but i'll do look at the grappling so you see here um it looks like a kanyu basami in a sense but reversed and then from there you rotate the leg towards them creating a lot of pressure on the knee so you entangle the legs here very much like ashigarami in a sense to get the leg over and then from there you push the leg in a way that it cannot bend so kanibasami the scissor takedown as people call it uh, it is done in this way however i understand why it is banned since it just destroys the knees however the way he did it was actually having the torso to the other side and actually blocking uh, the knee in order to get them uh, on their buttocks or on their back and from there he continues to lock the leg so let's take a look here at Kyuzo Mifune where he is laying on the ground and then from there he gets past underneath their feet in order to get behind them so watch as he attacks the leg it's very similar in, in terms of mechanics of how he does it so it's kind of like detaining someone here and then as they get on their knees check out how he bends the leg in a very painful way and essentially that's how it was done so uh, it's very interesting to see so the next one is he grabs the punch kicks as he is down kicks the far leg entangles the nearest one this is classic ashi garami in judo so he kicks from a low stance watch as he kicks away the far leg in order to get them down and then from there he entangles the close leg and presses on the ankle so it's a straight ankle lock from ashi garami so ashi garami is done in this way you see it here in in the kata so you go down for tomoe nage you don't just go down like this and you kick away the far leg so you get close you kick away the far leg to get them off balance and then you entangle the leg after they are in a bad position so you get close underneath you kick away the far leg on the inside of the knee you entangle the leg and then you straighten the knee as you pull the jacket and that's how you get the submission so uh, it's exactly the same as the man did it uh, only to finish with uh, straightening the foot as in putting pressure on the ankle however here uh, when you stretch your leg and pull on the sleeve or pull the upper body towards you it's putting a lot of stress on the knee that you are uh, targeting it can sprain the mcl or it can just absolutely shatter the entire knee if all, if enough pressure uh, is put but it will likely uh, tear the MCL. So here it is one more time, very similar to what the man did. Now, let's go here. He snaps down and then goes into a, I'll say he's a gatame or a knee hold. And from there, he locks the elbow and the wrist. So it's really nice way how he just uh, threads almost the, the leg in. So here you see from the 1910s, Juji Gatame from standing position. And then here it's very much similar, uh, but 
the difference is the the one doing the submission is the one laying down while the one receiving the submission is put upward now this one here is like a reverse ashigarami and then from there you get like a toe hold or an ankle lock so you go in but you lace the leg from the inside towards the outside so a reverse ashigarami kind of and then from there you twist the ankle or you attack it however you want you attack the heel so getting this type of foothold is not uncommon back in the day like ashi dori garami or uh, entangled leg uh, grab so now let's see some more this one here it's it's a great i would say variation of ko sotogake like a drop ko sotogake the way we drop for ouchi gari it's the same way of dropping for ko sotogake the way he reaps the foot is great in my opinion if he had some grips on the jacket it would have been uh, even better which would have given him more control so here you see ko sotogake you hook the leg from the outside but he was down and he reaped towards him so um it's it's a great uh, variation it's it's unique however the uh, fundamentals are still the same but it's not from the standing so it's a it's a great way of you know putting yourself on a low stance but from there getting all the control i really like uh, what i see uh, now regarding the history and the origins exactly i don't know much but uh, trying to compare it to judo it's you're gonna run into a lot of common stuff again the human body is the same uh, wherever you go on the planet so uh, if you know anything more about this uh, style please let me know down below if you can share some links i would really appreciate it i just go more on the techniques um, but again kung fu we all know that it's an umbrella term it's not one single art or one single style or expression um, but here this uh, dog boxing is uh, highly interesting especially considering that a lot of these arts that i compare do not have uh newaza or ground grappling a lot of them either have a little bit of pinning like wrestling or a lot of them like sumo or mongolian wrestling even if you just put your fingers on at the ground you can just lose the entire fight so it's nice to see that there is ground grappling elsewhere and uh the way you enter etc is different from judo so if you have anything else to add please let me know down below consider supporting me on patreon link will be in the description this was shadi and thank you for listening